Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the blue screen memory management error in Windows, specifically Windows 10. So, there are various reasons why you might be getting this error, and we're going to be showing you how to hopefully resolve this option. So, if you're on Windows 10 and you're able to actually log into the computer, this would probably be best and the easiest way to get into safe mode. Otherwise, you have to go through the advanced boot options that is more common to earlier versions of Windows. So, we're going to start by heading over to the Start button, and we're going to left click on it, and then left click on Power and Reset while holding down the Shift key. So, while holding down the Shift key, left click on Restart. This will get us into safe mode. Now, please keep in mind that there are other ways to get into safe mode as well, but this is one of the quicker ways. Um, I do have a video showing alternative ways how to get into safe mode on my channel if you wanted to look into that on your own. So underneath choose an option, left click on troubleshoot which will reset your PC or see advanced options. Underneath the new troubleshoot window, left click on advanced options. Left click on the startup settings tile on the right side here. And then I'll say restart to change windows options such as, and I'll give you a list of options here. What you want to do is left click on restart. Okay, so from the options on this list, using your keyboard, select the option you would like to select. I would say number five is probably best for most people because that will enable safe mode with networking. So click on the number five on your keyboard and then it will start booting Windows into safe mode. So click on the start menu and then type in Windows Memory Diagnostic and there should be an option right above control panel that says diagnose your computer's memory problems. So left click on this, select the first option that says restart now and check for problems which is recommended. Save your work and close any programs before restarting. So left click again on that. So this will begin restarting your computer here. So just be patient. And now it will load the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. This will take a little bit of time to run, so just be patient. So once this is done, I will be back. Hello everyone, I'm back. So the computer has restarted and we should be able to log back in and hopefully our error alert associated with the memory management has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.